So part three, sorry. So overall, what I'm trying to say to y'all is, and this personally goes out to the guys that I dealt with in the past. If we happen to lose contact with each other, if we happen to argue and break up with each other, or if you see that I decide not to want to deal with you anymore, understand the fact that I thought about everything. I thought about my future. I thought about your future and our future together. I thought about everything. I thought about how we interact with each other, how the relationship is going, how's your mindset, your future goals, everything. And it's not on impulse. I don't just leave on impulse. I have thought about this for a while because in case y'all men fail to realize, women, we tend to break up with you mentally and emotionally before we break up with you physically. And y'all keep letting this go over your heads. Y'all keep ignoring the signs. Y'all keep dismissing everything that y'all should be paying attention to. Because believe it or not, it's like I like it. I see men are not as you know smart in the love department, the relationship department as they think they do. Because if 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 y'all was, y'all wouldn't have missed anything. Y'all wouldn't have missed the signs. Pay attention to the woman. Pay attention to how she responds to your actions. Pay attention to her actions her, as well and how she feels. Yeah, we know y'all want to be all about y'all and y'all think y'all only deserve whatever y'all want. But it's about us too, okay? You can't have a relationship by yourself. It takes two to have a relationship. And we're not with you in your lives just to please you and give you what you want. It's about us too, relationship is about both partners not one so if i was to leave you alone and not deal with you no more understand the fact that i thought about everything that has happened with us and how if we could tolerate each other for any longer and how we can go on um after a few arguments or disagreements whatever the case is i leave for a reason i don't leave just on impulse without thinking about anything. There's a reason why I choose not to deal with you. It's because I know deep down the side, you're not the one for me. You're not my soulmate. You might be my twin flame. You might be that soul comic, but you're not the real deal. You're not for me. You could be for anybody else out there, but you're not for me. I know my worth and I know who's for me and who's not for me. And I know what I click with and what I don't click with. And what I'm tolerating and what I won't tolerate. And what I'm willing to tolerate is very minimum of a guy's behavior and actions, whatever. Or his, you know, like his mindset when it comes to certain things. Like a little bit of things about a guy. Say, for example, the shit that you do on a daily basis. The people that's in your lives. If I see that you act a certain way towards me when it comes to your friends and family. And it's not in a good way, it's in a funny way. I'm going to move on and leave you alone. Sometimes I'm not going to even talk to you about it. I'm not going to even argue with you about it because it really don't make any sense. And then when I see that mean you don't have nothing in common, that we don't want the same things, or you take too long to give me what I want. You take too long to show me what type of man you that you could be for me that I need in my life. I'm just going to let you know it's time for us to move on. And we don't always have to have an argument. And some of these guys fail to realize I am not the argumentative type. I don't sit here and just take the time out of my day to argue with anybody. And these guys always assume that I am one of those argumentative types because I disagree on something or if I tell you something about me or if I express myself in any way, you automatically think there's a fight or is an argument. No, it's not. This is me understanding who I am and what I want. And this is me going for what I want. And if it's not with you, you need to look deep inside yourself and see why it's not with you and why I feel the way I feel. Always pay attention to you and how you treat me and how you talk to me. Okay, always pay attention to the things we talk about. Recognize whether or not what we have is real or it, it's not about real, but what we have is the same. If we want that from each other. If you clearly see we have nothing in common and that we don't want the same things, 
kindly pick yourself up and leave and stop trying to hold on to what's not meant for you. Okay, because that's just one thing I don't do. I don't hold on to something or someone that's not meant for me. And if the signs keep blowing up in my face, I'm going to keep, like, I'm not going to ignore it. I'm going to keep it moving. And that's something that some of y'all men need to be doing. Because y'all don't pay attention to the signs. Y'all just, y'all too busy all up in your ego and in your world that you don't think that there's other people out here that might want something different. And I see a lot of behaviors behind what I say. And it's like, damn, can you be any more selfish and careless? The guys that I dated in the past that heard me say these things, some of them acted so disrespectfully. They was acting so selfish and their ego was all up in the way. And this is what happens when your ego gets in the way. You lose this every day. You lose the person you thought that was the love of your life or somebody you thought you could be together with you lose his friends you lose a lot of stuff and then you want then you want to get upset with the person like it's that person's fault no it's your fault it starts with you it don't start with the person it starts with you look within yourself find out why you and her is not clicking and don't just blame it on all the female because it takes two and then on top of that you it's just maybe it's something about you that that woman don't want. And I always say this to everybody. And instead of them understanding that, they be like, yeah, whatever, I, whatever. If you want to go, go. Okay, I don't know how this is going to answer your prayers, how this is going to um, solve your problems or whatever the case is, but I'm just going to keep it moving. Just say good luck. And like I said, when it comes to soul ties, I tend to unravel those soul ties because, like I say, you're not going to um, bleed into my new relationship with my new man, and you're not going to keep me from living my life. And I think some of these guys wanted to do that. Now, what I am looking for is something way deeper than y'all could ever thought of, think about. Some of y'all don't even imagine yourselves having that because all y'all think about is having fun, getting your money, and getting your skin touched. That's it. Other than that, it's like y'all really not looking for anything serious. And to me, it goes deep within the spiritual level. It goes deep within every level. Okay? I need somebody that I could deeply connect with. I am looking for a husband I'm not looking for a best friend. I'm not, not looking for a boyfriend. I'm looking for a husband. So if you're not that potential husband for me and you don't want to get to know me and be with me throughout all my flaws, all my ups and downs and everything, then you're not the one for me. And I'm not going to hold you back and I'm not going to hold myself back. I'm going to get mine regardless. I pray to the universe and to God for what I want and I manifest it every single day. I make lists of things that I've been praying for that I deserve, and I'm not going to settle for less. So like I say, if me and you happen to be dealing with each other and also I just decide not to want to deal with you no more, understand the fact that I took some time to think about everything. I took some time to pay attention to everything when it comes to you. And if I don't feel connected to you in any way, or I don't feel like we're clicking, there's no chemistry or if I'm not seeing what I've been looking for, I'm just going to say goodbye to you and just keep it moving. And you take it how you want to take it. But as long as you get the message, that's all that matters. So with that being said, that's my meaning of a soul contract and the difference between a karmic twin, twin flames, um, and a soulmate. And this is not a direct hit towards anybody. I don't want anybody sitting here coming for me and taking it the wrong way. This is just brutal facts. And I hope y'all understand everything. Y'all understand me and what I'm looking for and what I'm trying to say here. So until then, I'll see y'all next time.